Hello everybody, Gabriel here, and welcome back to Game Dev Tycoon. So this episode, we shall continue our game development quest. And in this episode also, we'll put some employees into the company, if we can. Well, we do have a lot of money, so I think we should be fine with the uh, financial aspect. So, yeah, let's start right away. Let's make a sequel uh, first, before we start employing some more people. And then, yeah, I guess we shall see where it goes. Uh, okay. First things first, I want to let this guy finish his training, just to make sure. Okay, is this training? <laughs> yeah, I think it is. I don't remember, even remember where we were last time. Okay, no, that wasn't training. Alright, let's develop a sequel. Alright, so last time we made Wyvern Preston 2, which was a huge success, which made half of our entire fortune. Which is pretty great. It was for PC, right? Yup. Government sim on PC. Our best selling game ever. Night. So, let's see. Can we make a sequel to a game? Dragon can Cannon Fire might be a good idea. Or, let's see. Hmm. I think there was a good game that we made. I just want to check. The Kid Sim, we could make a sequel for that. Uh, we could also make a sequel for S Dragon Cannon Fire, which was apparently pretty great. Hmm. Okay, we'll make a sequel for the Kid Sim. Right. The Kid Sim. We'll call it the Kid Sim. Uh, the second? Yep, it works. The Kid Sim, the second. This is a normally named game, but I don't really care. Alright. <laughs> that will be for PC. With Game Engine number one. Alright. Alright, so we'll include some cutscenes in there. So let's put a bit more story. Not that much. Alright, this seems like it's a good start. I hope it will stay that way. Uh, let's put the dialogue a bit more up since we do have some story. So we need dialogues. Uh, and the rest can stay like that. It's a sim, so it's pretty similar to the government sim that we made. Alright, Venegar is gonna go off the market. It's fine, we never developed for that anyways. Okay, that's gonna require maybe a bit less world design. And the rest is gonna be fine. All right. I like how all our games are open world, even though they're not actually related to the open world aspect at all. <laughs> all right. All right. This should be good. We have two hype. Oh damn it! <laughs> we just got a bug in the end. Ah. <sighs> Freaking Jesse, got a freaking bug at the end. All right. Oh god, we might actually get a 10. Or not. All right, 8 is fine. It's reasonable. Okay, 6 is not, though. I'm not happy with that. <laughs> okay, average, 7. Okay, well. All right, the kid sim isn't as popular as it was before. And surprisingly, it's selling about as well as it did last time. <laughs> yeah, I think the Kid Sim was the game that uh, that just went like 9.75 average and just sold poorly. Not really sure why, but now it's selling about as much as it did the first time. So, I guess it's fine. Uh, they made a sequel to the Kid Sim. The Kid Sim the second was met with great responses. Are you kidding me? <laughs> it's about the same as last time. Alright then. <laughs> Whatever. Okay, so. I think we should train our guys, actually, because we don't have much training, and we should probably get that done. So. Alright. I don't remember what these are for. They should probably put some descriptions in there. Uh, calling complete. I know that's for tech. Don't repeat yourself. That's for speed. Game design for pirates. 
this is research, I think. Make me think. This is... Oh no, game design for pirate, this is design. Make me think is research. And give dev gems is design and tech. Yeah, I think that's it. So, I'm gonna make a balanced guy for our main guy. And Jesse is gonna be trained for tech. Yeah, we should train more often. It seems like that quite a few players use illegal copies of the kid sim the second. Right, I'll just warn them, don't sue because that will cost end up costing money and that will be very anti-consumer, so we don't want to do that. We want to be a good company. Always on dragons doesn't mean that we use always on DRM. It's not the same thing. It's always on awesome and not always on uh, always on bad measures. Anyways, it sold 66 point, well, 66,667. That is too many six in my, for my taste there. Right. Let's train him again. Uh, give him death gems. And let's put more speed, actually. Even though he has plenty, I want him to be a bit faster. Right, send a warning. RC is a big problem. We can fans. <laughs> there we go. Right, please Jesse, get 300 speed. That would be great. Oh, it's getting close. There we go, 300. Right. That's good. Right, just wait for Jesse to finish. And let's start a new game. So for now we're just gonna focus on sequels. And then we're just gonna put out some new games. Just want to make a sequel for Dragon Cannon Fire. Just because it got some super awesome reviews, so we might want to make some sequels for that. Dragon Fire <laughs> 1. Dragon Cannon Fire 1. Uh yeah, we're gonna name it 2, like this. Let's go for Gimling, Game Engine number one, and go. Right, so that's a pirate action game. So I'm gonna put a bit less engine, a bit more story in there, and this should be fine. We should probably make a new, a new engine very soon. Just uh, research some technology and then put it put out a new engine because it's getting a bit old. I think it's a few years old, actually, at this point. All right, dialogue, we don't need all that much. AI, maybe a bit down. Right. This is gonna be the, the best Dragon Cannon game that you'll ever find, <laughs> because it's the only one. Uh, what design? We don't need all that much. Sound a bit less. And Jesse needs vacation, so we'll just uh, put him in vacation after that. Right, maybe a bit more. Come on, get to 30. That'll be great. Alright, <laughs> slowly getting there. It's fine, we don't have any hype for that anyway, so we can't take our time. Come on. No, don't find bugs. Right, yeah, I guess we're done. Right. But at least we have a design record. Right, Jesse, you go on vacation. Game convention, yes. And that receives a... 9! Alright, that's good. Okay, 8. Okay, if we keep 8 at a, at a minimum, we should sell fairly well. Yeah, this should sell pretty well. Right, Dragon Cannon Fire. Yeah, well, it's reasonable. I expected it to sell more, though. Hmm. 
Alright. Come on, convention, come sooner. Alright, yes. That's the perfect time since we're selling the game right now. One day we're gonna have the top booth. For now we just have one small booth. But we're gonna get the big one later on. Alright, 60,000 people. And was this enough to boost our game? <laughs> Not really. Alright, that's fine. We're getting good sales. Let's see. Yeah, we did make some profit. Alright, as long as we make profit, it's fine. Alright. Let's employ a new guy, because right now we're pretty stable on money, so I think we should get a new guy in here. Alright. Test 64 will sell. So, now we're gonna get uh, a showreel person. We want a person that... Uh, it's good with design. So let's put about 200,000. Right. For the time being, let's research some stuff. Uh, vampire, why not? Vampire dragons. This guy is gonna have game dev gem. And we found these three people here. Right. Oh my god. <laughs> this guy is really good with design, but is extremely poor in technology. So we might want to get someone that is more balanced, because this is a bit ridiculous. Uh, okay, we'll get this balanced person. Ricardo Cooper, you're in. Right, so far so good. Let's train him. What is this right here? What is that bar next to our character? Not sure what it means, because usually it means that uh, that person has to... The time before that person reach is maximum capacity, but... Why is my guy having this? It doesn't usually go on vacation. Alright, anyways, contract work. We've updated our client list. Alright. Yeah, I think that uh, something that this game should do... They should put more rewarding contracts, because contracts are pretty much useless. Um, they don't really reward you that much compared to making games. So I think contracts should be more rewarding. Right. Why? Why did you have that bar next to you? Yet another game dev? Why? Oh, whatever. Alright. So let's make a new game. An entirely new game this time. So this one's gonna be a dragon game. A dragon game? Yeah, we made that since the beginning. I mean vampire. That's gonna be a vampire game. With... Uh, RPG aspect? Vampire RPG? That's not gonna be good. Uh, play system? Shall die? Uh, why not? Alright, game agenda number one. And that's gonna be... Vamp, Dragon, Blood, <laughs> Vamp, Dragon, Blood, there we go. Just gonna name it like that, alright, Vamp, Dragon, Blood. That's gonna have a lot of story, because this is an RPG. Uh, we don't want that much engine, and we'll keep gameplay, of course. Wow, we're getting hype already. This is pretty great. Do we have marketing? Yes, we do, alright, it's... Advertise this into magazines. Right, AI is gonna be smart enough. We want a lot of dialogue as well. Yeah, this will be good. I can tell. Right. So world design is gonna be pretty high since this is an RPG after all. Maybe less sound. Okay, world design is gonna be like this. Okay, seems like our employees are, very, are getting very, very inspired on design for this. Not sure why. Why do you find vampires so interesting? <laughs> right, 
Sim games. Alright, we'll make sure to make a sim game next. Alright, come on. Maybe a bit more technology. That will be good. Please. Okay, let's finish. Alright, new combo. Great combo, apparently. Release. Easter eggs, thank you. Oh boy. Okay, that seems like a close. Alright, 9. Alright, that's good. Oh, please, 10. Okay, 9. That is good. 8. And... 9. Alright. It's good enough. Oh yeah, this is selling pretty well. Look at that. Yep, people like it. Alright, that's that's pretty good. Okay, so now we want to make a sim game. Let's see, can we make a sequel for <laughs> Wyvern President? We released it in year 8, so it has been about 2 years and... Yeah, not 3 years because we're in month 2, so... Yeah, let's make a sequel for that. Why not? Wyvern President 3 It's gonna be for PC again It's gonna have game engine number 1 And it's gonna be great It's a flagship series Right, so that's gonna have a lot of engine A bit more story this time Although we want to max out engine Alright, Super NES will be out. Let's see, there are a lot of good surprises winning for you in Vam... <laughs> Vam Dragon Blood. This is a hard title to name. <laughs> Alright, the attention to detail to the core gameplay has really paid off. Well, what can I say? Stop reading, start playing. Alright, thank you for this wonderful review. Alright, so that's gonna have a lot of that. A bit less of that. Wow, it sold 200,000 units, that Vamp Dragon title. This is pretty good. Uh, world design, a bit lower. Sound a bit more up. It seems like we're just following a pattern, just, just slightly modifying every one of our games. Just making slight changes. I don't think this is very good. Seems like we're heading into the Call of Duty, uh, the Call of Duty way of doing marketing, which isn't good, of doing games rather, and marketing maybe. I don't know. I don't know what marketing looks like in this game, so I can't tell. Right. Yet under dev is having training. Let's see. Okay, boost. Yeah, we won't put that. We don't need that right now. Alright, reviews. Give me a 10. 8. Oh, please, come on. You can't just kill down. You can't just kill our flagship series. <laughs> no, this is unfair. Come on. Ah. Uh, at least Star Games made a good review. Alright, let's make a boot. For Reverend President 3, which apparently has gone downhill. Met with moderate responses. Alright. Okay. Well, at least we're stable. Like I said, with money, we're making more money than we lose. So, as long as we're in that path, we can always make some better games. Alright, come on, people. Reverend President 3, it's great! It did not go downhill, don't worry. <laughs> Alright, 68,000. Uh, boss, I've discovered that some real dedicated fans of Dragon Knight. I think this is our second game. This is a very old game. <laughs> I've created a fan game using a lot of the materials from the game. Uh, let them be, it's fine. Especially since it's an old game. Don't really mind. 
Right, Jesse, you go on vacation. Right, this person has been informed of us, uh, giving them the opportunity to continue the game, and we gain some fans, which is always great. Right, so I think we can manage. <coughs> Sorry. I think we can make some more research before we finish this episode here. Um, Alright, we might want some... God, there's a lot of technologies that we should make. Alright, stereo sound. This should be a priority. There we go. Research. You're gonna have... Uh, medium games, yes. And you are gonna go on vacation. Oh, not fire. Medium games. Uh, right. So now we can use the publishing contracts. Right, that will be good. That will be a good way to get uh, more fans in our way, and then we can develop more games by ourselves and get more money that way. So yeah, that will be good. Actually, the publishing deals. Right. Let's research some more stuff. Hmm. Okay, 3D graphics, yes. And, yeah, I think after that, that's going to be the ending for this episode. It was, once again, a pretty productive episode. That was pretty great, actually. We made some good progress. So, yeah, so that's going to be the end, everybody. Thank you all for watching. And in the next episode, we're going to continue on the development and maybe make a new engine. And, yeah, so thank you all for watching. And I will see you all next time.